this video is gonna be pretty similar to the last two. We got our 400 traps to haul. We're gonna take you through them and hopefully catch some cool stuff. Hopefully catch a little less crabs. Then we gotta go in and sell them and bait up and then we're gonna keep some. We're actually taking the boat out to a remote island off the main coast where we're gonna go ashore and have a campfire and cook them over the campfire. So it'll be a main lobster catch and cook. We're gonna do it all in the same day, all in the same video. It's an absolutely perfect morning here. We do have a little bit of a sea from some wind that we had last night. It blew like 30 southerly last night, which creates a big sea. And even though the wind has died out, the sea has not. We should say pray for Devin or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Pray for them fellas out here in those H and H's, but God bless their souls, they'll get through it. Oh man, it's all good fun. They're making fun of us for rolling at the same time. So pick your poison. The sun is just coming up. We got pretty good visibility. We have come through some patchy spots of fog. Seems like the fog is threatening to come in with that with the leftover southerly wind. Uh, but hopefully the sun will get up and hold it off. We should. Oh, you see him? Oh yeah. Here, it's still recording. We've got an ocean sunfish right here. You guys probably recognize these from the viral video, like I don't know, five or six, ten years ago. It's a baby freaking whale jay. We see these things pretty frequently throughout the summer. And they're a very slow, dumb fish. Usually let us ride right up to them. So we're gonna try to bring the GoPro up and get a shot of him. Got you guys, don't worry. Hope you're comfy. You're gonna get a longer stick. My stick's too short. It's not even a stick. <laughs> Fog won the battle. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a fog bow right there. 
It's a rainbow, but it's made out of fall. That's when it's miserable. cleared off, cleared off just in time for the last one of the day. It's usually how it works. You battle all day long, you can't see a thing. Then right at the very end of the day, it clears off beautiful. And it is going to be hot on land. Out here it stays pretty nice because the ocean keeps the air cool. But on the ride home you can feel the temperature rise like 10 degrees. <laughs> save a few keepers out of this one for our catch and cook. This is a beauty, perfect eater. Nice male, pound and a half, freshly shed. These are gonna be delicious. Supposed to swim up from bottom. Yeah, those female, I tell you, is that big? You'd be surprised how many actually look like males. I'm not doing it. There's another nice one right there. My mom's birthday today, so we're taking her on to an island to have a picnic. We're gonna have a campfire and we're gonna cook them up over the fire. Happy birthday, Mom! Hi, Mom! Hi, Mom! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> well, there she goes! the best eaters. Pound and a half males. The females are just as good eating really, but some of their tails can be a little dirtier. The males tend to be a little bit cleaner. Well, we got one last step to finish the day. We gotta stop over here and salt some of our bait because the bait, the heat makes it go bad. So we're over here salting our bait and we got a friend that's got himself in a little bit of a pickle. Literally. What are you doing in there? These things are mean. The black back gulls, they eat about everything. So we use salt to preserve the bait. They go bad pretty quick, especially in this heat, if we don't salt them. So we're now moving on to the cook phase of the catch and cook. Ran home, took a quick shower, came back. Oh, speaking of that, I got the lobsters tied up back here. So 
So I'm pulling in right now to grab the family, and we're headed out to a remote island that has no people, no buildings, no anything. It's a complete uninhabited island. There's a lot of rocky beaches, not much sand beach. We're gonna go get a fire going in on the beach, and we're gonna cook up some lobsters. made it to the spot you can see the beach in here it's a typical main beach it's not sand it's rocky big rocks we're gonna start shuttling to shore <laughs> pretty warm we've been swimming in it got a record yeah must it ever be down there <laughs> Put right out, Mark, anyway. Right here. Might have put some rocks or something under yeah. there. Well, we made it in. Look at the size of this lobster kettle. I think that'll work. There's the yacht. The, the little one in the front is the yacht. Back one's the work boat. So we got the fire going, we're warming the water, and we're only steaming them. So we just put water in the bottom, we don't boil them. And we're using water straight from the ocean. That's the key. What are you doing? <laughs> We've got the youngest fisherman in the fleet. Look, buddy. What's that? What's that, buddy? What, what is, is that? that? Oh, he's looking at it now. You gonna eat that? Oh, they actually have, overall have a pretty decent shell for this time of year. Yeah, what are you doing? So my dog in the Navy. This coin we can throw it probably right on top, right? Yeah, we can. Once he starts boiling again, we'll throw it in. <laughs> Cooked about 15 minutes. We got corn on the top and the freshest lobsters you can get on the bottom. All right, gonna show you real quick how to pick them out. First thing you do is separate the tail from the body and you separate the claws from the body. You can get a little bit of meat out of the body and the legs, but we don't really eat them. Next, you take your tail, you fold your flippers against themselves and then you're left with a little hole right in the back. You push your finger in that, the tail will come right out. Clean the poop chute out. And you're left with a nice tail. Take your claws, fold the knuckles back against themselves. The knuckle meat comes right out. Same thing with that one, the claw, just crack it open. And you get the claw meat. And these are shedders, so these do pick easier. We can't really do that with hard shells. You gotta use crackers and pickers. Um, but if you got shedders, that's how you do it. So now we just dip it right in butter. Eat it just like that. That's as good as lobster gets. As fresh as it gets, cooked in ocean water, caught today. That is good, isn't it? No, you're good. Oh man, that is really good. Well, that's the best way to eat lobster. Yeah. That is so good. Cooking them in salt water is. That is. Mm, you don't need seasoning when you cook them like that. There's the second oldest fisherman right there. He's glaring at me. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, he's like, what are you looking at? Happy birthday, Mom. How was it? Thanks. Oh, it was amazing. 
best lobster ever. They actually were the best lobsters I think I've ever had. I don't know what we did differently. We couldn't quite pin it down, but the only thing we figured out was that we mixed the butter with vinegar last night and it soaked overnight together. And we think we were saying that was going to be our secret, but I just told the whole world. So uh, I burn our secret. What are, you, what are you guys reading anyway? Oh, low down road. Oh, low down road. Okay, my uncle actually wrote this book. Go check it out. <laughs> There's my uncle right there. <laughs> Do you want to give us a quick rundown on what it's about? Well, it's about a couple of cousins down in Texas in 1974. Uh, they hatch a plan, they come up with a crime, and they're going to drive a truckload of marijuana up to Evil Knievel's Snake River Canyon Jump. And uh, things go very badly for them. So check it out. Low down road. Go check it out. <laughs> Come here, boy! Come on! Uh oh, Miles! It ain't working. <laughs> you gonna go get it? <laughs> Come on! Come here! Well, the picnic was a success. The lobsters were great. Everything went good and we made it back to the boat. I got one last cool thing I want to show you. I want to show you the prettiest egger I've ever seen. Come up here. Bring her up here. This is the, this is the prettiest egger. Look at how pretty she is. I don't think I'll ever catch an egger prettier. Show you something we do. We put, we, we put this little mark on their finger. It signifies to other fishermen that she can't be kept. Meet my wife. If you can't tell what happened a baby girl in October to go with our two baby boys. And I think she's going to run the show. She's going to be the boss. Okay, I'm going to walk away now. You don't like my video? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching to the end. I hope you learned how to eat a lobster or pick a lobster. If you ever get the chance to, I highly recommend cooking them in salt water. Really brings out their flavor. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.